Now the earlier we are in the year, the more commonly you're going to find snapping turtles buried down in really shallow water. Which is why first I'm going to be poking around in the shallows. And it only took about five minutes of searching before I found the first snapping turtle of the day. You're going to want to record. Got a snapping turtle. Here he comes. <sighs> Look at that mud dragon right there. Oh my goodness. First turtle catch of the year. Bringing them back to shore. Well, there we are. That did not take long at all. We found the common snapping turtle. This is a very good sized turtle, and that was a little bit of a difficult catch. So let's go over there, get a scene set up, and learn a little bit about this cool animal. And when I flip the turtle up like that, you can see the plastron, which is the underside of the shell, leaves a lot of meat exposed on this turtle. Now, over millions of years, these turtles have evolved such great defense tactics because the plastron leaves a lot of meat exposed and they can't tuck their extremities into their 